All right, let's jump in there and create our WordPress site. Now I'm not gonna explain some of the details for some of the things that I'm doing and be very thorough about it as you should be watching a different series such as the WordPress introduction. So here we go, let's get started with this quick WordPress site. I'm on wordpress.org and I'm gonna download a new fresh install of WordPress. And I'll click this blue button to say download WordPress and it's 4.862. Then I'm going to unzip the WordPress file and I'm going to move the WordPress file to my desktop. Now I have a build directory set up. I'm using Laravel Valet. You might be using MAMP or something else. Uh, and you should probably know which PHP environment that you're running with previously. And if you need help setting that up, definitely check out one of our other series on setting up either Laravel Valet or setting up MAMP or even setting up Flywheel. So I'm gonna drag the folder into my builds directory and that's gonna be my working directory. Now, if I go to, uh, I take the WordPress directory here and I open it up in Sublime, you'll see all of the WordPress files. And I'm not gonna go in and talk about too much about these, except I'm gonna go in config. So WP config is where we set up our credentials. So I'm gonna go in, oh, uh, I did that a little too fast. I'm gonna go in here and set up a database called WordPress. My username is root and my password is empty. And that's because I'm using Laravel Valet. Down below here, I wanna set up my keys. So I'll grab these keys, paste in that URL. Oh, I missed the H there. I'll paste in that URL and uh, I put an extra T now. There we go. Get rid of that extra T. And you'll see these keys. Then we'll take those keys and we'll paste the keys in here and we're set. So now we have our config file set up, but it's wp-config-sample. I'm gonna rename this to wp-config.php. And you can sometimes rename it or you could just duplicate it, whatever sort of uh, works for you. So now uh, at this point, my wp-config file is set. I have debug turned on false for now, but I could turn it on later on. I can close these files down and I can go to SQL Pro and SQL Pro is a database tool. And if you're not familiar with that, you can definitely check out the series here on Code Time on setting up SQL Pro. Again, I'm gonna to connect to it. I'm gonna make a database and I'm gonna call my database WordPress. And then I'll add the database. And that's it for SQL Pro. So we're done, that was it. Just needed to make a database. I'm assuming you're probably familiar with that. Now, uh, back here, I'm gonna type WordPress.dev and this is going to be my WordPress install that's gonna come up here. So there it is, and I see that first screen for WordPress. I'm gonna click continue, and I'm gonna fill this in with my stuff. So I'll call my site WordPress, I'll put in a username, and then, um, sure, I'll use that password. And then I'll put in my email address, and I don't really need to worry about discouraged search engines as this site's probably not going to be public, but eventually if you're gonna, the site you're making is going to be live, you might wanna discourage search engines from indexing it until it's complete. Again, if you're running this locally, that's not gonna be an issue. We'll install WordPress, and this is gonna set up our WordPress install and populate our database fields. Meanwhile, I can close some of the tabs that I have open here. I'm done with downloading WordPress and we can close code time up. We'll log in and uh, I'll paste in that password and my username and we will log in and mine uh let's see give it a second to load waiting for wordpress.dev and we're in so uh the first thing I do is I like to turn off all these options inside here as I don't really use those panels too much and then we'll see we have our pages uh and we have our plugins, our users, our tools, our settings. So everything, just the basic default WordPress that comes along. Uh, again, if you wanna go into more information about what each one of these things are, definitely check out that other series on WordPress introduction. So uh, let's go and add a new page. And uh, it's taking a second here for my computer to load this. And now I'm gonna call this the home page or just home. And I'm gonna click publish. And uh, that's gonna publish our first page. And at this point, we can see that our WordPress is configured. We've made our first page. I'm going to jump onto the next episode and we'll create some uh, other pages and add some plugins and some features. Let's go and take a look at that.